Hi, I am Shira. In this video, I will be showing my field investigation report, my research process, and my recorded data. After that, I will discuss my conclusion and my findings. The question I researched was, does the temperature outside affect the amount of bees collecting pollen? For this report, I have collected quantitative data and the type of research done was correlative research. I also put my data in data tables. I chose this question because I always noticed bees outside and they are insects that I see the most in my backyard, so I would be able to collect data from it. The purpose of this research is to see what temperatures bees come out the most, and this could help me decide in the future when to go outside to avoid bees. Also, I know that I would have a wide variety of temperatures because we were transitioning from summer to fall. My hypothesis was, if the amount of bees collecting pollen is related to the temperature outside, the closer the temperature is to 60 degrees, the more bees will be outside collecting pollen because it is harder for bees to travel in high temperatures and low temperatures. So my investigation plan was to go outside every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. each time to count how many bees were outside by the flowers in my backyard co collecting pollen. I also would look up the weather to see what the temperature was at 3 p.m. The only equipment I needed was the flowers in my backyard, my computer to look up the weather, and to record the amount of bees outside. I made 8 observations in total, and also this investigation has been conducted individually. This is my data table that I have used to record my data. I understand some of this data could be unreliable though. This is because there were, the, there were two days where I needed to collect information and it was raining outside. On these days, the bees were most likely affected by the rain than the temperature. This was my graph, and I made it a scatter plot because I wanted to see if, it was, if there was a correlation between temperature and amount of bees. This graph shows a strong positive correlation between the temperature and the amount of bees collecting pollen. This means that when the temperature is higher, there are more bees outside collecting pollen. I can conclude that when the temperature is higher, there will be more bees outside collecting pollen. This is true because you can see from my scatter plot that there is a positive direct relationship between the temperature and the amount of bees outside. In the data table, it can be seen that at the lowest temperature recorded, which was 51 degrees Fahrenheit, there were zero bees collecting pollen outside. However, at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, there were a total of 36 bees collecting pollen outside. This makes sense because bees often have trouble surviving at lower temperatures. It is also important to understand that bees are cold-blooded organisms, which means that they like warmer temperatures. They also have wings, and when it is warmer outside, it is easier to fly. According to the Irish Times, rain is also a factor because rain drowns out the wings of bees, making it almost impossible to fly. When it rains, it is usually colder than usual, so this plays a factor into the amount of bees outside. Therefore, according to my data and research, when the temperature is higher, there will be more bees outside collecting pollen. Thank you guys for watching and listening.